in the Dallas game midweek, his 15th game of the year, back with the Lakers for another stint. Davis, a collision in the lane, and he uh, is on the ground holding his right ankle. As the T-Wolves inbound, and they are playing on at the other end. And the takedown by Russell Westbrook, the foul. I could. It was tough because Rondo came over to set the screen and kind of slipped out at the direction that Anthony Davis was. Ooh. Yeah, he got it good. Ooh, that was a good one. I think what we all know about the walk it off, that was a good one, but he's he, he's got to get up and kind of try and walk that off to see if he can get that thing mobile again. Lakers down seven. Been the star of the show, 23 points, six rebounds. It's a 7-2 run out of the locker room. LeBron James does not have a field goal since the first quarter tonight. Look at the assist there to Bazemore. And, and honestly, not a lot of field goal attempts. You know, right now, if you're talking about LeBron James, he's only shot the ball five times here in this game thus far. Neither side has shot it particularly well. That's why the T-Wolves have not been able, to, been able to stretch the lead. Numbers here for the Lakers. Good hustle back by Vanderbilt to pick. Beasley might have stepped out of bounds and gotten away with it. And now here come the Lakers with numbers. Four on three. James fouled. <laughs> and he and he and Pat Bev having a little discussion and a flex off. Look, 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 we know at the end of the day that, that Pat does a lot of extra stuff, but we also know that, you know, Pat Bev is an extreme competitor. You see here, good hard foul. That's what he does. Three-time NBA All-Defensive Team member. It's good to see LeBron James still knows how to score points. This free throw to get him to nine to go along with seven rebounds, and he comes up short. Has that streak of... Uh, Double-digit scoring games in a row. Still has time to work on that. Mm -hmm. Davis and Towns tangle. And that will be the second on Anthony. And, and one of the issues when we talk about Vanderbilt and his activity He's only shooting 22% from three. So LeBron James and the Lakers know that. So you're kind of playing center field. You're trying to help out on towns. You're trying to help on things. So you're not really guarding him on the offensive end, but you got to guard him the minute that shot goes up. Because if he's sprinting in and you're on just a vertical, he's going to get offensive rebounds every day. James to Ellington. Count the basket. Four assists now for LeBron. Couple of triple doubles last week. Numbers 100 and 101 in his career. Russell, Vanderbilt stripped. James, the lob Woo! to Davis, and here comes LA. Timeout, T Wolves. Nick. And again, it was talking about the Laker defense. They get a steal, and it leads to a trans. I am. Massachusetts. Oh, Jalen, see, Jalen's gone further than I have on this. Mm -hmm. I keep thinking they still have a shot to get it together. But, Jalen, you look at these games where they get out-rebounded by seven and a half, where they got turnovers galore, they're not taking care of the basketball, and you just go, why, why am I believing in the Lakers? Why do I think they're going to get it together by the All-Star? LeBron shouldn't have to be their best player in his 19th season Thank during the 82-game regular season. That has to be AD. That has to be Russ. It's supposed to be a big three. Not LeBron James guarding Carl Anthony Towns in a basketball game. Getting his shot blocked. He ain't even supposed to be guarding him. Are they asking too much of LeBron James at this stage Clearly. of his career, big fella? <laughs> I mean, they're not asking it of him. He just have to do it. And I'm with everybody else. Like, AD, where are you right now? First of all, he don't look engaged. When he was out, when he did go to the locker room with his ankle injury, all of a sudden the Lakers made a run. Yeah. He come back on the floor, and then all of a sudden the defense breaks down. 
and he just don't look engaged like he want to be out there. There's a plus minus of minus 12 right now, Michael. Uh, again, this is the same theme. Every night we seem to be in here, we're asking these types of questions. Who's going to come to LeBron's rescue? Which is kind of weird to be asking some here. Mm -hmm. And Minnesota is without their best, well, maybe not their best player. Carl Anthony Towns is still their best player. They're without a player who just had 10 Anthony threes in the previous Edwards. game. Mm -hmm. Anthony Edwards is a guy that we all want to see tonight because there are not that many national opportunities to see the Timberwolves. Can't see him. They're still playing pretty well. Big fella. We've got LeBron on ESPN tonight. Lakers in our late game against Minnesota. They've been a different team when LeBron James and Anthony Davis are on the floor. When LeBron plays without Davis, the Lakers have outscored their opponents by 32 points. They've been outscored themselves by 50 when AD is on the court with LeBron. With, without LeBron, I should say. That doesn't seem to make a lot of sense, and yet it is the reality. And Jalen, you have been on this basically from the start of the season. We always talk about Anthony Davis because he's one of the top five players in the league. Right now, he certainly isn't playing that way. What is he right now? I love Anthony Davis, future Hall of Famer. He's one of the top five talents, talents in Reach. the league. But he's not a top five performer. They need him to play like the Bucks get from Giannis, like Denver gets from Jokic, like the Sixers get from Embiid. Those are the elite performers as bigs in the league that carry their team without a LeBron James caliber player on their team. With the LeBron James caliber player on your team, you can't be shooting four air balls like you did the other game. It, we were watching the end of that game, which wound up in overtime. And Davis and, and so was I'm really a, I'm struggling. So I'm a huge fan of his, don't get me wrong, but that's what it is. Why is he struggling? Big Perk, why are we not getting more from him? I don't know. I don't know, seriously. I mean, coming into this season, you would think out of the big three, Anthony Davis is 28 years old. The peak of his prime. Just think about it. Two years ago, I'm glad you brought up uh, Giannis, Jalen. Two years ago, Jay Rose, we were we were comparing the two of who would you take. Now the gap is so big that you actually can fit me through there, okay? <laughs> and so when I'm looking at Anthony Davis, look, he's a top five talent because he's going to get you 24 points and 10 rebounds in his sleep. But I'll take it to another level. Right now, I'm looking at a guy like Rudy Gobert. And he's better. He's more effective. He imposes his will more than Anthony Davis right now. I would actually take him over Anthony Davis today. Now, would that change in two weeks? It probably so. But right now, give me you know Rudy. What? I love listening to you guys because you pay very little attention to analytics. Thank God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because it ruined, the, points it ruined the game. The points don't relate to impact on the game. Andrew Wiggins used to average a million points in Minnesota, had no impact on the game. Mm. Now, in the role that they've created for him playing off the players, he does at Golden State. Look at the impact Andrew Wiggins has on the game night to night. That's what I think about when I think about Anthony Davis. Okay, when I, you know what? Somebody mentioned 24 and 10. And I was like, wow, he's averaging 24 and 10. So, going back to your point, the impact isn't there every night. But you know what I wonder? Are we being unfair? Has the impact, has he ever impacted the game? I love him too, Jalen. But has he ever impacted the game like one of the top five players night after night after night for multiple seasons? I don't, I don't see that. Here's a valuable piece on the chessboard. This team, in particular, with Russ playing heavy minutes, needs AD to play the five. With him playing the, full, with the four, it puts Dwight Howard on the floor. It suffocates the paint. It cuts off driving lanes. They're negative four with him playing at the center. That's another issue that they're going to have to contend with as the season progresses. But I'm glad they added Isaiah Thomas, who just had 42 in the G League the other night. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Again, we've got a great doubleheader coming your way. The Lakers and the Timberwolves in our late game. Patients that retain to the vaccine. But now he is planning to 